Good morning and welcome to a brace up and proud of it live. I'm Mike Z. I'm that guy. And today we are doing finishing Friday and we're going to be talking about exterior finishes. That's a perfect lead into the weekend because the week's almost finished. Just going to let that one sit for a second. All right. <clears throat> so uh, obviously water based, oil based, uh, natural oils. So there's a lot to cover today, so we'll go ahead and get started on it. If you have any questions on exterior finishes, please go ahead and let us know. Chris is going to go ahead and take over the system today. Oh, okay. I mean, would you mind? Watch Chris disappear. There I am. There you are. All right. You want to angle it down for me? Is that your uh, finishing rag you have in your hand? No, that's not my finishing rag. This is the free mask you get with any order of $50 or more. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I've told you, I absolutely love that smock you're wearing. Ah, really? Thank yeah. you so much. I got this at Clint Spores Woodworking Shop. It looks really nice on you. I have to say, yours is nice, too, in the tan khaki color. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Go ahead and get started. Yeah, I'll turn that towards you so you can see it. Um, just click comments, by the way. So, All right. First thing we want to start with is that you have oil and you have water as your main exterior finishes. Uh, we'll start with general finishes, outdoor oil. It's a simple base of just oils, mostly tongue, linseed. Uh, but what is nice about it is that you can actually put it over top of pressure treated lumber. So if you're doing a deck and it's, you know, within six months of getting it pressure treated and getting it installed, um, you can still use it right on top of that, even if it's wet. So that is nice. Uh, but if you have a project <clears throat> and you want to use water-based, uh, my recommendation is always the exterior 450 water-based. Because it's water-based, um, that's the only recommendation of why I recommend it is because if people ask for water-based, then this is the one. But the reason being is that it has UV inhibitors and, and a lot of the things that you need. But what I like about it is that it comes in colors. And it can work on fiberglass doors as well as woodworking. Um, but up to three coats to get a real nice depth of color. And they even have like coffee bean. They have a really nice dark color. Uh, so if you're using it, I, I always recommend to go ahead and put the coats on that you want of this to get the depth of color that you want. And then put this on over top of it because of the sheets. Also, this particular um, product, the exterior 450, comes in flat satin and gloss so it's kind of nice to have the options of having a flatter sheen uh, in exterior finish because a lot of times our only options for years were were gloss then the last water-based product we have is the deft uh, this is an interior exterior uv inhibitors has been on the market for years um, actually when i was finishing 20 years ago this was still on the market then so it's it hasn't changed still the same formula to it but uh, a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. But at the same time, so if you're used to using this, it's still the same product. They haven't changed the formula whatsoever. And if you're not used to using a water-based, it's a good cost-effective water-based exterior finish. So one of my favorites, if you're looking for a film finish. Now, one thing in exterior finishing is that you have a film base, which means it, sorry, which means it coats over top, but you also have what's what's a soaking finish or one that actually mechanically bonds to the wood, and that's really what you want in most cases. But if you need a film finish, then the Marine Spar Varnish from System Three is a very good choice. We used it here on the uh, store countertops and held up for a long time. Uh, the only thing is, it comes in gloss. There isn't any kind of a, a duller sheens to available um, but three coats of that and it worked like a champ they do now recommend that if you're going to put it on something that's going to have uh, prolonged outdoor exposure that they recommend that you put a two-part epoxy on now so if you've used this product in the past just be aware that now system 3 is recommending that you use one of their epoxies before putting this on top of but that's kind of neat to know that you can use a two-part epoxy and then put a spar varnish on top of it Next, the old tried and true death thing. Uh, this has been around as long as the water base really has, actually probably longer. Um, it's uh, oil-based, it flows very nicely. 
It's interior, exterior. It does have a distinct smell to it that's not overpowering or anything, but you can definitely tell the smell of the UV inhibitors in this. Um, satin, three coats, and you're good to go. Now, I will say if you are in water-based forms, there is a recoat window. That recoat window must be met. If it says two to four hours to recoat, then you should recoat within two to four hours. Plan your uh, project accordingly. If you're going to put it on the night before and it says two to four hours is a recoat window and you're going to come back the next day, you could have adhesion issues. You could have drying issues with the actual finish. So make sure you read the can that if it has a recoat window, that you make sure you adhere to that recoat window. Now on the oil based, normally it's 12 to 24 hours in between coats. You've got to give it time to dry. Anything with tongue oil based into it is going to have that issue where it's going to have a long time to take to dry and you cannot rush it. No matter what you try to do, heat, air conditioning, ceiling fans, none of that will actually rush it. The thing that actually rushes it is oxygen. So if you were to pump pure oxygen into the air and then cycle that through into pumping more oxygen, uh, then you could get maybe an hour shorter dry time. But really other than that, it's just give it time. Be patient with a, an oil finish. You will have a very nice finish though. Next, next is the, uh, the old tried and true gun finish, the boiled linseed oil. Uh, Danish oils, linseed oils, I like to treat as a treatment and not a finish. I know that probably upset most people, but I always find that you have to put on Danish oils and linseed oils more often. There's, a, there's more maintenance involved with them. So to me, that considers it more to be a treatment rather than an actual finish for longevity. Uh, but it will work for exterior applications. So boil linseed oil. Uh, you can thin this down with mineral spirits. If you need to make it thinner, dry a little quicker. But for the most part, um, if you have any linoleum or been around linoleum, you know that it never really fully hardens. It just, it's, it gets soft. It's still soft in a hardened form, but it's not actually brittle hard. So just note that whenever you're using linseed oil, it's a very good treatment. Danish oil, same way. Now, tongue oils, um, are a different beast altogether. These have been around for centuries from the tongue tree, from the nut itself. The oil is extracted. Mohawk has made a modified, which dries a little bit faster. It's not 100% pure tongue oil. There's some additives to it to help dry faster, but it is still basically a tongue oil and you treat it the same way, 12 hour window. Um, Master's blend, pure tongue oil, probably the purest on the market that I've ever found as far as the way they filtrate it, the way they make sure that it's pure. So if you have a food safe finish, anything in finishing uh, with wood turning especially, then this is the way to go if you need something that's 100% pure tongue oil for your finish. Uh, but 24 hours is a recommended time in between coats. And it may seem dry after six, it may seem dry after 12, but I assure you, you want to give it that 24 hours to fully air out and start to soak it. But tongue oil finish is great. So talking about a pure tongue oil finish, 110 years ago, Waterlocks decided they were going to take 93% tongue oil and add some additives to it to dry it, and they made a marine finish. They also have a regular interior finish as well, uh, but the Waterlocks Marine Sealer is the first coat. You can put on three of these coats. You will see that you get a medium sheen, which really is about a matte finish. They do have a high gloss, and they do have a satin in the marine as well, but the marine sealer is very good to soak in. So these are the types of finishes, the tongue oils with the linseed oil. These types of finishes here are the soaking, mechanically bonding into the wood type finishes. I personally like this better because the wood and the oil are all married together in a finish, which means that you get a little bit more longevity out of it than you would a film finish. A film finish is one that basically about five years you have to reapply. Anytime you have a mechanical bond finish like tongue oil, you can do a quick one coat and it refreshes the whole surface without having to do too much work to maintain it. So that's why I like tongue. But then Mohawk decides they're going to change the game because they really hadn't had an outdoor finish. This tongue oil is the closest thing they've ever had. So they decided to make an outdoor aerosol. This sprays like lacquer, dries fast like lacquer, but it's not a lacquer. Uh, and what's really nice about it is that it does hold up extremely well outside. I had a birdhouse. I did one half of the birdhouse roof with this. The other half was just regular pre-cat lacquer to see how well it sprayed, how well it worked. 
everything was the same except for the pre-cat lacquer after six months has peeled up. This still looks exactly the same. I'm really impressed with this product. I like it because gloss, satin, flat, you have choices. Um, but if you're doing anything where you need an exterior finish directly in the elements, fast drying, this is now a really good choice. So I hope that has helped uh, answer a few questions, knowing that there's a lot of options on the market. We carry a lot of the originals all the way up to the new, more modern ones, water-based oils, you name it. Do we have any questions, Chris? I don't know. Good. No. Okay, good. Not a big deal. If you have any questions in the comments, you know, go ahead and comment down below. Let us know. We'll take care of them. Uh, but for Brace I'm proud of it live, I'm Mike. Hey, Mike, quick question. Yeah. Where did you get that beautiful smock you're wearing? This was purchased at Clean Spores Woodworking Shop. All right. Well, if you're Mike, I'm Chris, and we were with Abrasive and Proud of It live.